Hello there, my name is Barb Owen of Barb Owen Designs, and this class is about glue. All kinds of glue, and paste, and anything else I can think of I have over here on my table to show you about glue. The first question I have for you is who would think that you would need any help figuring out how to buy or use glue? But you know what? There are so many kinds of glue out there and pastes, and combinations, and specialty things, that it's, it's like, mm, yeah, this is a good class to dispel and demystify some of the uh, problems and myths and, you know, just giant question marks about glue and paste. So let's get started. I want to show you what I've done to... Um, just give myself, you know, kind of a starting point. And so this is a mixed media journal that I have here. And all I've done is take a whole bunch of magazine circles from magazines that I die cut. And so, because magazine paper is so thin and it ha of course has ink on it, but the ink sometimes gets messed up with the glue. And so it's like, I thought that's probably the best test I could probably have. So I have a die cutting machine and so I just die cut out all these circles from a magazine and then that's what I use to create my little test and so that's what this is. And so in my mixed media journal I've glued the different pieces in using the different kinds of glue. So I just was going to give you a quick little overview of kind of what the page looked like. And then I'm gonna to talk to you about what the different glues do. And then I made myself a little note down here as to what the paper was. And so this is mixed media paper. It's a Strathmore 400 series, 140 pound. There is no gesso on this page. So it is just a plain, it's just plain paper. So there's no paint, no gesso, no anything on it. And the glue is on the back of the paper only. So there was no, no special fancy tricks on anything. So I'm going to show you close up the different kinds of, of effects you can get. So I'm going to tip the book around here a little bit so you can see right in here there's some bubbling. So with some of the, the glues that I use, there's some significant bubbling over right in here that you might or might not be able to see. But also sometimes the glue gets on the surface and that's what you see right there. And sometimes that really shows and that's really not so cool. Especially if it's in your journal or on a project that you really care about. So this is the different effects that I got. This is an interesting one and I'm going to show you the bottles and jars and stuff here in just a minute and go through all of them. But I just wanted to give you kind of an idea of what I had done and why. This one, I and each one of these, I just put around in a spiral. I didn't even smooth it out on the back of the magazine paper. I just put a spiral of glue in the middle of the paper. And on this one, I can get the light to show you. I think you can see it right about there you can see the actual spiral of the glue behind the magazine paper. Well, if you're working with a fairly thin paper in, in your um, art or craft work, you might not want that to happen. Sometimes the glue is so powerful that it will just pick up the uh, ink right off the image and just t carry it off, you know, and take it off of the image and it'll move it out onto the paper, which is what happens here. Sometimes it just takes it off the image. So you have to imagine that, that if you were doing this kind of thing with a scrapbook album and you were using a photograph that possibly you had printed off on an inkjet printer or something, you have to know that that is a possibility for that to happen. So it's a good idea to do this kind of stuff. Make yourself a little test with all the gl different glues that you have so you know which one you like the best. And then there are some that go down absolutely smooth as long as you get the glue all the way. Now right here I didn't get the glue all the way to the edge. But if you get the glue all the way to the edge, there are some of these glues like this one that go down perfectly, perfectly smooth. 
So I did this, I made this key, or this test, shall we say, for all of the glues and adhesives that I have. So here's another one. There's another whole page here, and another page down here. And then down here at the very bottom, I tried something that um, wasn't too successful. So if you find things that you don't like or don't work for you, make sure you make a note about that as well. So as you can see, this is a pretty good sized um, journal, art journal. And I'm going to show you what it is here. This is what I'm, this is what my test is, is the Strathmore Mixed Media Visual Journal. So that's what I'm using to do my testing on. And it is a 9 by 12. So I could fit quite a few tests on this, right? So I just kept testing. And then I went to gesso and I gessoed some of the pages and played around with some of them on gesso to see, well, what did that do? You know, how did that affect the results? So now you may not want to do this. I don't know. But if you do, I highly recommend it. It's really educational and you find out a lot about your products. So speaking of products, let's go to the various glues and adhesives and talk about those. Now let's get this out of the way here.